everyone welcome back to medical knowledge my today video is on advanced trauma life support protocol the advanced trauma life support or the ATLS protocol is initiated after a traumatic injury to a person uh, the person either presents in the emergency department or the doctor assesses uh, the patient at the site the ATLS protocol consists of two different surveys the first one is known as the primary survey or the initial survey and the second one is known as the secondary survey so the purpose of primary survey is to identify the components which are killing the patient or uh, which are hampering his uh, life condition so after the primary survey is completed the secondary survey uh, started which uh, includes a head to toe examination of the patient in this video i will tell you and describe in detail these two surveys the primary survey and the secondary survey and the different components which are the important part of it so let's uh, start first of all with the, the primary survey the aim of primary survey is to treat what is killing the patient it uh, helps to identify the problems related to airway breathing circulation uh, which can hamper the uh, patient's chance of survival so the, the primary survey consists of the five main components which are to be assessed uh, the first component which uh, we assess is the airway or the cervical spine. So I will write it down. The first component is uh, airway or the C spine. So after assessing the airway, the second condition which needs to be addressed is the breathing. After the breathing is assessed, the third condition or the third component of the primary survey is the circulation. The fifth component, the fourth component is the deformity. And the neuro examination. And the fifth uh, and the final component of the primary survey is the environment or exposure. So these are the five main components of the primary survey. The first one, a, first one is the airway or the cervical spine. The second is the breathing. The third one is the circulation, the fourth one is the deformity and the neurological examination and the first, fifth one is the environment or the exposure. So these five components form the basis of the primary survey. So the mnemonic for the primary survey is the A, B, C, D and E. So these are the five conditions uh, which are addressed in the primary survey. Now I will explain in detail each condition and uh, what are the basic components of uh, each one of these components in the primary survey is the airway and the cervical spine in this uh, component we look for the potency of the airway we clear the airway of any mucus or the debris uh, we look for uh, either there is any blockage on the trachea which can hamper the breathing or not and we immobilize the cervical spine immobilizing the cervical spine will help uh, to uh, protect the spinal cord and uh, prevent uh, any type of plagia which the patient might suffer if the cervical spine is not immobilized. So in the primary survey first component airway and the cervical spine we look for the potency of the airway. And we clear the airway of any mucus or debris which can hamper the breathing and uh, cervical spine we immobilize the cervical spine okay the second component in the primary survey is the breathing in this uh, component we look for the normal chest movements and we look for the respiratory rate so in the breathing component we look for the normal uh, respiratory movements or either the chest expansion 
and we look at the respiratory rate this can give us indication of any breathing problem which the patient might suffer uh, after a traumatic injury the most common complication uh, in the breathing component is either uh, development of the pneumothorax or the hemothorax in the chest cavity which can help everyone the third component in the primary survey is the circulation we check the bp and the pulse rate of the patient which can give us uh, which can give us the indication of any circulatory defect the person person is facing after an injury so in the circulation we assess the bp and the pulse rate and we look for the signs of injury and the signs of bleeding so the two main components are we should look for the signs So in the circulation component, we should look for the signs of uh, injury and the patient might be bleeding internally or externally. If the patient is bleeding externally, we have to control the external hemorrhage. So in the circulation component, we have to uh, maintain the normal circulatory level in the patient. So after the circulation, we have to look for So after the after the uh, third component, the fourth component is the deformity or the neurological examination. Uh, we can assess the patient for any further injuries and we can do the neurological exam. So the more important component of uh, this is neuro examination. And the most common and the most uh, easy tool for the neurological examination to check for the conscious level of the patient is the GCS scale. So in the fourth component, uh, we look for any signs of deformity and we do a neurological exam. The neurological exam can be uh, checked by the Glasgow Coma Scale which tell us about the conscious state of the patient and which can also give, give us the indication of the type of injury. The final component of the primary survey is the exposure or the environmental control. Uh, in this, uh, we have to maintain the environment or the temperature of the emergency room. The patient might be hypothermic, uh, so we have to keep the uh, environment of the surrounding warm and uh, provide the patient with blankets to keep his uh, uh, level of temperature inside his body at a normal level. So, in this, we have to We have to keep the temperature of the emergency department under our control and uh, and uh, uh, we should uh, keep in mind that patient uh, might develop hypothermia so we have to prevent hypothermia from being developed in the patient so these were the five main components of the primary survey the first one was the airway and the cervical spine the second one was breathing the third one was circulation the fourth one was deformity and the neurological examination and the five one fifth one is the environmental uh, control and the after the primary service completed immediately after the primary service secondary service started in secondary survey, there is the head to toe examination of the patient. The main purpose of uh, the secondary survey is to look for any uh, further uh, further damages done by the trauma. So in secondary survey, the main thing which is done is the head to toe examination. And its purpose is to look for any further damages done by the injury. So in the secondary survey, uh, there are also five components which needs to be addressed. Uh, the first one is the allergies. The second one is the medication. The third one is the 
फास्ट इलनेस और प्रेगनेंसी फोर्थ वन इज द लास्ट मील एंड द फिफ्थ वन इज द एक्सपोजर so just like primary cervix the these are the five components of the secondary cervix the first one is the allergies the second one is the medication third one is the past stillness or pregnancy fourth one is the last meal and the fifth one is the exposure or the event so after the primary survey is done the secondary survey is started in which the doctor uh, asks the patients of any uh, allergies which needs to be address or which needs to be noted to prevent any further complication then uh, the second thing which is done is asked for the medication either the patient is taking medication for any disease or the patient is either suffering from any disease or was the patient pregnant and uh, the about the last meal is asked uh, to the patient uh, to look for any complication which can develop during the surgical process or exposure or event in this uh, component the patient is asked about the mechanism of injury so these are the five components of the primary survey the mnemonic for these five is the ample a m p l e the mnemonic for primary survey was a b c d and for the secondary survey is the ample so for a we have to look for any allergies from which the patient is suffering Uh, we need to know any medication the patient is taking uh, for for p we need to know any illnesses the patient is suffering or either the patient is pregnant uh, we have to know about the last meal of the patient or what the patient was eating and uh, in the final uh, or the fifth component we need to about the we need to know about the environment or exposure or the mechanism of injury so these were this was the secondary survey <clears throat> the primary survey should be completed within uh 10 to 30 seconds it should not take longer and after the primary survey is completed the secondary survey is started okay. i hope you got a better understanding of what an advanced trauma life support is and you got a better understanding of the two different surveys the primary survey and the secondary survey if you have if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section if you like my video give it a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to medical knowledge thank you for watching my video